Welcome back to Designs by Danielle. So today I took a trip over to Home Depot to gather up supplies for my DIY throw ladder. So first I picked up two pieces of these eight foot uh, pieces of wood and each of them were less than three dollars. They were really, really easy to find and you can find them in the wood section. So I was going to purchase a third piece, but then I saw these two by four by two uh, pieces that were already pre-cut and I purchased five of these um, for a dollar fifteen. So this was done on a wonderful budget. Uh, so next I had my son and my husband uh, just cut out the bottom of the pieces in a 45 uh, degree angle. So here I just laid out the wood on the floor and I just positioned all of the pieces in place. So I just went ahead and I just continued just to sand it down just a little bit more just to get it really, really nice and smooth. So here is the top of the wood. I'm just going to sand it down so when I paint it, it could be nice and um, even. Shout out to my husband for helping me drill all the screws in place. Guys, please make sure you hit subscribe and press that like button. Uh, stay tuned for many uh, DIYs that I'm going to be doing alongside my husband. So here I'm just going to go ahead and measure everything and um, have it in place. So I'm going to go ahead and measure um, on both sides. And I measured each and I had each placed uh, 13 inches apart. <laughs> So here is the shelf standing. It's very sturdy and uh, it looks really, really good, guys. This is a DIY uh, that cost me less than $25. This is the authentic wood and it's really, really sturdy. This is the first thing that I placed on the wood. This is the gun stock wood stain and um i left some spaces open so i could uh add the silver to it but this is looking really really good So this is how it turned out after I added the uh, silver along with the gun stock. And it, it's really, really pretty. It's coming along really pretty. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and just touch up the rest of it. So at the end, I just gave it a nice distressed look. So guys, here is the finished product. This came out really, really nice. This is a beautiful 
DIY blanket or scarf ladder. Actually, you could also put your throws on it if you use throws in your living room or on your sofa. Um, or you could simply bring it up in your bedroom and hang your scarves on it. Uh, either way, this project cost me uh, less than $25. It was fun and easy to make. Um, if you want to see more videos, guys, just stay tuned. Hit subscribe and hit the like button. Also, if you have any projects in mind that you would like for me to do, just comment down below and um, I'll make sure I make it for you. Um, thank you for watching Designs by Danielle.